Hello everybody and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we're going to be asking the question, are we putting too much pressure on Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey? Let's get into it. Okay, so as we all saw, as we discussed earlier this week, Travis made the journey to Europe, to Paris, to watch the final night of Taylor Swift in Paris. It was an incredible evening, so many Travis Easter eggs, so many great moments. It was just, it felt like we were watching a private concert between Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, and we all loved it and we ate it up on social media. I certainly did. But something I've been thinking a lot about since that night, and really for the last eight or nine months that they've been dating, is that question of, are we putting too much pressure and too many expectations on Taylor and Travis? I did want to first go into some quotes that we got from sources that are close to Taylor and Travis about Travis attending Taylor's final show in Paris. These sources came from Entertainment Tonight, which we know we've discussed before is a pretty reliable source as it pertains to Taylor and Travis. It always seems like the news that drops, the kind of important stuff tends to come from Entertainment Tonight. Entertainment Tonight was also the first publication to announce Taylor and Joe's breakup last year. So I think they tend to be pretty reliable, but this is what some of those sources said about Travis attending Taylor's show. Travis couldn't wait to attend Taylor's European leg of her Eras tour. He was very excited to see Taylor in action yet again and enjoys watching her perform and singing along. He's a very supportive partner as is she. The two are making it a point to celebrate each other's achievements and show up when it matters most. Obviously, I think we can both tell over the course of the relationship, Taylor has showed up time and time again for Travis at all of his games. I guess not all of them, but as many as she could make, she was there supporting, cheering him on. Travis has been to as many Taylor Swift shows as he can be at um, going from South America to Australia to Singapore to now Europe. He obviously saw her in Kansas City. Like this guy is showing up when he needs to and it doesn't matter where in the world she is, he will make the journey to see her, which I think is so sweet. Um, we also talked about... Taylor acknowledging that it was the 87th show, 87 obviously being Travis's number. And this is what a source said about uh, Taylor acknowledging the 87th show. Taylor's 87th show had significance not only for the reference to Travis's football jersey number, but because of the many Easter eggs hidden in the show about Travis. This was also the first time Travis was able to hear songs live that are rumored to be about him, and he was thrilled. Okay, so this is interesting. Obviously, we know she acknowledged the 87th show because he's number 87. But the Easter egg part is interesting. I think we have identified that the swag surfing that the backup dancers and Taylor um, do during So High School is definitely a nod to Travis. But I would love to know what other Easter eggs you feel like Taylor dropped that allude to, to Travis. I think the Chiefs outfit is probably certainly one of them. Obviously, the surprise songs that she chooses to sing when he's in attendance, I think, are very pointed and directed towards him. But if there are any others that you feel like we've missed, let me know in the comments to uh, point them out because I feel like there's probably some we haven't even caught yet. So obviously, it's great to hear that they're supporting each other. They're happy for each other. Um, they clearly have no shame, and which is amazing. And I think it's awesome how proud they are of each other. But back to my original question question, which is, are we putting too much pressure on Taylor and Travis? Now, I feel like since the beginning of the relationship, because the beginning was so, so public, right? It was Taylor Swift showing up at a Chiefs game in the suite. It was like this incredible pop culture moment, sports moment. It was everywhere. People were just going crazy. It was all over social media and the news and whether it was sports news, entertainment news, just general news, like people were going crazy. And I think a large part of it was obviously Taylor is so famous and Travis is famous too, but I think it was and it has always been that this has felt like a romance novel come to life. It feels like fan fiction in a lot of ways. You have the pop star, the most famous successful pop star right now, and one of the most successful, famous, charming football stars, athletes, 
coming together to be in a relationship. Two kind of unlikely people that you probably wouldn't have actually ever paired together. But then them coming together, you're like, oh my God, this is everything that we have been told in our society is like what a perfect couple is. There's a reason why in movies and shows for so long, it's always like the popular high school football star with like the popular cheerleader. And it's just kind of what our society celebrates. It's what we deem as like the perfect couple. We always have felt that way. And so I think because they've been so public and so open about their relationship from the beginning, we have just put them on this pedestal of like love and adoration. And I think also juxtaposing Taylor with Travis to Taylor with Joe and how different her relationship has been with Travis than it was with Joe. I think that's part of it too, is like we are finally seeing Taylor out and about living her life, having fun, going to events, being with friends, like not just being secluded and hiding in her home. And I think because of that, we have we have really put them on this pedestal and I think have put this, and I don't think it's intentional. I don't think people are like wanting to put pressure on them, but I think it's just the nature of the situation. There's now this pressure on them, like you have to stay together. And if you don't, then we'll never believe in true love again and everything is ruined. And like, we kind of have like, we've kind of made them like the shiny beacon of hope in terms of what like true love is. And if for whatever reason they don't work out or if they break up or something, I think people will genuinely have like, a mental breakdown. I think people will, their worlds will be completely rocked. I also feel like because they've been so public and because they've been so outspoken about their love, I mean, you had obviously Taylor going to games, Travis going to shows, that's been different than we've seen before. But even Taylor like acknowledging Travis and talking about Travis in her Time Person of the Year article, that was a big deal or Taylor including Travis in some more of her like promotional content and her social media content and that TikTok she posted after the Super Bowl with Travis and her parents. Like she never did that with Joe. And so it's just felt like, oh my gosh, I think we we feel like because she's more public, that means it's more real and that means it's more serious, which may be true, but also maybe isn't true. Um, but I think because of that, there's been this pressure of like, when are they getting engaged? Oh my gosh, they're both, you know, they're, they're 34 years old and they are ready for a family and they want to get married. And so there's this like constant, these, these constant questions of when are they going to get married? When are they going to get engaged? When are they going to have kids? And I'll be the first person to say like, I I hear on this show and part of that problem, like I am equally as invested as everybody else about their relationship. And I want to know when they're going to get engaged or or when they're going to get married. And like, I feel really invested in what happens in the relationship, but I don't know if that's always a good thing because I do think it puts this crazy pressure on them, like that they not only have to stay together, which I don't think they actually, I think they're together because they want to be together, not because they feel like they have to be together. But I do wonder if the media pressure, the scrutiny, just the attention, if it will get to a point where it becomes kind of too much for them to handle. Um, And if this sort of constant questioning of like, when are you gonna get married? When are you gonna get engaged? I wonder if that will ultimately affect them in some way, shape or form. I don't know. I also feel like we have, we've been watching Taylor Swift. For those of us who've been fans of Taylor since she was a teenager, we've been watching Taylor fall in and out of love and try to find her perfect person for decades now, almost, you know? Like I was, I became a fan of hers really when she put out Fearless, which was 15 years ago. And like, actually probably more than 15 years ago at this point. And I, I, I've been watching her and I feel like she's been very open about like her pursuit to find love and to find true love. And so much of her music is about finding love and wanting to find that person. And we've seen her get in relationships, get out of relationships. And so I think we also all feel this like personal connection to Taylor where she feels like a friend of ours and we want to see our friend happy and we want to see our friend find the right person and we want to see her settle down if that's what she wants, because I think that's what she's said through her music at least that it is something that she wants um and so even though we don't know taylor personally i think part of it also comes from a place of just like wanting to see our friend happy um but i do think it can cause some 
unwanted pressure. We also have to remind ourselves that Taylor and Travis have only been together for like, I mean, I guess we don't know officially when they got together, but they've been together for like nine, 10 months, give or take. Um, so it's still relatively early. Like they haven't even, even been together for a year yet. So I don't know that it's fair for us to be constantly questioning when they're going to take that next step. I've seen so many people wondering if Taylor and Travis are going to get engaged while they're in Europe this whole summer and while she's on tour, which of course is a possibility. But I think we also should just like let Taylor and Travis live their life and not constantly put the this pressure on them uh, to take that next step because maybe they don't want to, or maybe they're happy just being where they are and that's okay. And I, for one, just love to see them happy and enjoy their life and have fun. Like that's really what I love to see most of all. I think they're both fantastic and that's all that I care about is just that they have a good time, celebrate each other, which it seems like they're doing very, very well. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. I would love to know what you guys think in the comments. If you feel like we as a society, as a fandom are putting too much pressure on Taylor, um, is it weird to be so obsessed with their relationship and whether or not they're going to get engaged or not or following their every move? Um, I would love to know what you guys think in the comments. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.